Hello everybody, how you doing? It's me Paddy from Across the Shock and it's another wee podcast and the topic for tonight is, I'm not even sure whether it's in the title or not, but it's traditional stroke modern traditional and uh, the wee bit that I want to add on to it is how I would like to see the modern traditional change just ever so slightly because I think there's an area there that is vast and it's an area that I believe that, especially in this climate, there's already a market there waiting and, and they just haven't found it yet. Now, I, I don't mean to sound cocky there. I, it's just, I think there's a little niche that I've sort of come across. Look, I do an awful lot of thinking about knives, like most of us, I said at night. I like drawing me pictures of knives and I actually have some pictures drawn of this sort of knives and I would love to get somebody to make one for me. I don't know how to do that. I'm not sure if I'll ever chase that up. But... I'm going to have a chat about it and I'm going to tell you about it. I'm not going to hide anything. It's not that I've got some great secret. But this year, I mean, I, I told everybody this year that my goal was to get into more traditional pocket knives. And for the last year, in fact, I have. And I've picked up some beautiful ones that you've seen on my channel. These beautiful GEC. And um, this is a toothpick. What a beautiful, beautiful piece of it. It's just cutlery par excellence. It's beautifully made. It looks lovely. They use exotic materials, you know, um, like this giraffe bone dyed. It's beautiful. Um, and GEC knives tend to be about anywhere between 80 and 150, I suppose, when you're getting them from the dealer at the time they're there. A lot of them go up in price very quickly, which I'm not in agreement with, but there we go. But you can always get knives like Case. Look at the, the jig bone in that there. Isn't that like a ripe strawberry? It's just beautiful. And again, this one's a lovely worn cliff. Just a lovely working blade. It's only a small knife. Um, but it can do a day's work. Do you know what I mean? If you're an office worker, that would be absolutely fine. Breakdown boxes do everything. Um, some of the ones that you've seen more of in my channel, because this is one of the first. This is another GEC. And this is just a work knife with that big spear blade on it. You can see this one's well used. Elderberry jig bone looks old fashioned and it is old fashioned and that's what I like about it. It's just a big chunky, well, when I say big, I mean, it's only a three inch blade, so it's not that big. But, you know, it's a proper knife that you can do a day's work with. Um, and it's safe because, again, it's got this kick that comes out here that when you put it there, the knife can't close in your finger. So there's nothing wrong. There's nothing unsafe about most um pocket knives now there's something you have to be wary of but there you go now i got one of my grail knives which is a tom choice barlow this year tiny little knife and um, probably not big enough to be a uh, an edc knife but it is beautiful it is just gorgeous and i've been using it i was going to put it away i thought no it's too nice i've just got to use it so that's that's the modern traditionals that i'm going to get into this year now, the knife community has taken up that there's a lot of people out there who have got, who like um, the the old traditional knives, but they're not too happy with the blade steels. Because I mean, most of the blade steels on these will be um, just carbon, 01 carbon. Um, and they dull quicker than most of your average modern day blades. But that's the joy of them, that you have to bring a wee sharpener or do a sharpener. If you're going to do a lot of work, a wee sharpener with you. They're just old-fashioned type of knives, but still have a great function in today's society. But you're now starting to get people like Benchmaid who want into that that realm where, where, where people are wanting the old-fashioned type of a slip joint, but they want a modern blade steel like uh, S30V on this one. Uh, you can see it on that in the back there. This is one that I have modded to suit me because I've got a forward choil on it and I can do any work at all on any given day with that knife and that alone. I don't need anything else. It's got beautiful micarta uh, and this is a blade material or a, a handle material that I want to talk about later. But you've got that and then you have Kaiser come out with the zip slip which Brings it into, you know, it's it's a modern traditional, but it's got a clip. And this is where I think they're missing an awful lot of things. I think 
If it's a tra traditional, it shouldn't have a clip. But if it's modern traditional, put a clip on it. Because it's modern, it's never going to look like, you know, that is never, ever going to look like this. This goes in a nice wee slip or just in your pocket if it's a work knife. But something like this can just clip in your pocket because it's G10. It's modern materials. It can be taken apart. You've got a big forward show. It can never close on you. No matter what you do, that couldn't close on you. Safe knife. And people are tending to like this sort of thing. So, now, Civivi have just come out with a beautiful one. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Now, that's a lockback. A shame they couldn't have come out with one that was just a slip joint. But lockbacks are part of the old life, so that's fine. But put a clip on it. Make it modern. I mean, this is G10 and carbon fibre. Carbon fibre top G10. You can take it all apart as torque screws. Beautiful clip blade on it. Absolutely stunning. That would grace any old, um, old knife. I mean, it's just beautiful. The lockback was has been in existence for a long, long time. So, but stick a clip on it. You know, make it modern. If you're going to do something modern, make it modern. I.e. put a clip on it. And it will give, I just think it would bring more people into this. Having a mixed selection of knives rather than all titanium or, you know, G10, carbon fibre. It just seems to be just a glut of it. And I think if you're going to do something like this, Yes, by all means, but make it, you know, make it completely modern by putting a clip on it. Now, here's another company that has been doing it. This is Brother. Now, they've just brought a slip joint out. I haven't got it yet. This is another lockback, carbon fibre. But this is half the price. It's a beautiful knife. It's in VG10. It's half the price of the Civivi. So this is about 70 this is about 35 pounds so about half the price so it can be done that's got carbon fiber steel bolsters steel liners so i mean you don't have to spend a lot of money to get it and another company that i found this year mazarin they brought this out it's like the old bull nose it's a typical this is the mazarin and this is in i can't remember yeah this is excuse me d2 we can hit on it but look at that that is one beautiful blade takes a scream in it Screaming Edge, beautiful knife. Again, it's got a kick on it, so it's not going to close on you. But it's that burlap micarta. Isn't that just stunning? And the only thing that's screaming out for, to bring it into the modern, is a clip. You know, a little clip on that, with that burlap micarta, to me, would make more sense, rather than trying to... Because a lot of people are looking at these and thinking, well, you know, I, I wouldn't carry that in my pocket. I wouldn't have that floating in my pocket. And I can understand that. I mean, most of my traditionals, I will put in a pouch because it just keeps it steady in your pocket. So that's what I wanted to talk about tonight. And, and, and just what your views on the, the modern traditional arts. Do you like them where they don't have clips? Do you like they have clips on them? Do you like the modern materials? I mean, G10 and things like that. I think it's lovely. But if you're going to go for me, they need to change like like the, the, the old traditional patterns, all the different colours and, and horn and things like that. I mean, it's just, there's such a wide range. Now, if you're going to go into a modern one and you want it with modern materials, that's going to have to go. So you're going to have to improvise with colour and dynamics of the, of the knife. And I think G10 is the perfect medium because now there's G10s coming out with pattern in them where they're contoured. I mean, you can do that with any knife that, that you're making as a modern traditional. But give it colour. Give it something that makes it stand out from the crowd. We, I am bored with grey and carbon. I'm just bored with it. Now, I have loads of them and I love the nice, but I just don't want any more of them. I have too many of them. They all look the same. Whereas my traditional knives, I'm still looking for the, the patterns that change, the, the, the handles that change. And I just think that's where we're, we're, we're missing a beat. Now, I'm saying that, here's one company called Rough Rider. Look at that micarta on that handle. Look at that. Now, this is a $15 knife for, I think, the 20, 20 pounds over here. But look at that micarta in a three-bladed stockman. It is beautiful. That doesn't need a clip because that is a 
old fashioned knife. They've just put a modern material. They've changed the modern material. My thing is when they change the whole shape or outlook of something to make it a modern knife with different blade shapes, with, with all sorts of different handles, with forward joils. That's what I think is the way it should go. And we should be looking at different ways of doing this. Rather than giving it just a, a stock blue G10, give it a multi multi contoured and coloured. And make it bright and cheerful. And put a clip on it. Put a Tamascus clip on it if you want. You know, if you want to go for that, the, the carbon fibre scale, but put a Tamascus clip. Make it stand out. And I just think you'll drive more and more people into it. And they'll also end up going to the more traditional knives. Because you're going to see the, the, the colour and the, and the just change of, I don't know, you get the change. I love touching knives and holding knives. doesn't matter what knife it is, I love doing it. But if it's bland, I, this is just going to, sorry, excuse me. Oh, we puffer just fell there. If it's bland, I tend not to fondle it as much. Now, does that make any sense to anybody? Now, whereas I'll get this, and it's canvas micarta, you can feel the difference on it. You can feel a warmth in the handle. You can stroke and it feels lovely. Canvas micarta is the way to go forward for me. One, you can get so many different colours, you can get the burlap, you can get all sorts. Make your modern traditionals out of out of handle materials like this where you can put different colours on them. Stop coming up with green and beige and natural. Give us plenty of colour. Give us plenty of colour and put a clip on it and make it a separate entity. Make it not a half and half, it's in between this or you know that. Like on this one where I put the forward choil. I mean I think more of them need the forward choil because Especially if you're out there and you've never really, if you're, say, a newish young collector, you've never really had old traditional knives. So you've always got this fear because a lot of people will say, oh, they'll close your fingers. Once you put a forward choil on it, it doesn't do that. It's gone completely out of the question. And this then becomes an extremely safe knife and a knife you're going to use better because you know what it is. And, and to me, that's, you know, better knife use is definitely a thing that should be encouraged. So... Yes, this is a, a good attempt. Now, mechanically, it's not brilliant, but it's a good attempt at a modern knife, but stick a clip on it, because it's not a traditional. This will never, ever be counted in the same breath as that, as a traditional knife. It just won't. Never be in the same breath. And that's where I think it's got to, you've got to keep them separate. But if you're going to go down the modern line, make them modern. I think I'm kicking it dead. <laughs> the, the, the next thing is that I think the prices, I mean, a lot of these, now I picked out reasonably priced ones, but I mean, not this. This is 130, 140 pound. Am I going to choose that over that? Probably not. I'll buy more of these that are about 100, 110 than I will of these. You Once you bought one of these, it's bought. If you're just going to come out with that same sort of pattern. But this, there's so many different patterns in this with um, bo different bone handles, different jigging. So I can, I can hunt about and shop for them. This, not so much. So unless you're, and this is so good because you can take the scales off. Give us, give us, sell the scales to us and we'll change them ourselves. You know, I mean, uh, th that's what I say to companies. Give us the scales, give us the ability to change it. That makes it modern. That makes it modern because these are pinned construction, so you can't take them apart. These are handcrafted by people who are just trained to make this sort of a knife specifically. These are craftsmen who are, are trained in an art, and that's what you're paying for is their artistry in making these. But to make a modern one, it's all done in machines mostly. All right, you have a person pushing the button. But it's all done on machines. So to me, I think the price you've got to get right. If you want people to come into that sort of a market, I think the price has to be right. And that's where I think the likes of Mazarin, I think this was about 50, 60 quid. Um, there's a Brother Knife, which is a Chinese company. They're putting them out for 25 quid. Carbon fiber, the whole lot. I mean, G10, you just can't beat that 25 quid. 
So that's what's out there, but put a clip on it and make it a modern traditional. You know, carbon fibre doesn't doesn't change it enough. It has to be something else, and a clip is the thing that I think it needs to change it. Now, here's the other thing that I think needs to change it. A lot of the, the modern traditionals that are coming out, they're putting too much of a hand blade on it, but then they're charging us for that. The charging is way over the top for that expensive blade steel, like S30V. There's no need to have S30V in a little pocket knife if you're going for that modern traditional. Because this still lasts me a day, and if it doesn't, I get sharp in the seconds. So I don't need this is just tool steel, you know, 01 tool steel. I mean, it's just good steel for that, so for a little pocket knife. So I don't need this. If this was in 440C and came in at £70 with a clip on it, came in at £70, I honestly believe you'd sell more than twice the amount than what they've already sold of these because they're bringing it down to a reasonably priced knife for that, for what you're getting. And 440C, uh, 12C27, 14C28, any of them blade steels, mm -hmm will do a little pocket knife because you're not buying a work knife, you're buying a pocket knife. So I think that's the other thing where a lot of these companies really need to just get their act together. I think I don't need M390 in a pocket knife. I just don't need it. I, I genuinely have no need. I mean, if you want to go to VG10, that's fine. I mean, if, if there's a company, there's a Chinese company. And let's be honest, most of the Chinese companies can get the hold of VG10 and sell it for 25 quid. <laughs> so why can't they do that in the US I think the US companies there's CRKT everybody moans about the blade steel that are their choice even the CR13 in a pocket knife is absolutely fine but charge CRKT prices which they do a fair play to them. they charge reasonable prices you still have to pay for design and, and keeping it turning over but I mean there's a market out there I believe for people who'll do like my carter handles G10 that are contoured, that are that are coloured, and make it exciting instead of just firing out these same mono coloured. There's just no life in them, there's no soul in them. Whereas you've got soul in that, you know, you can sit at night and you can stroke this, and you can. It it just feels different than anything else that's modern. But to get something that, that is striding across the modern traditional, it's colour. I believe colour is the big option. Everybody wants colour now because I think, well not everybody, but I think a lot of people are just getting bored with titanium and grey and black and carbon. and It's just getting all that now. So let's get a bit of colour. I see a few manufacturers are, are coming in with it, but let's get it down to the cheaper end of the market that the, the cooler end, I would love to see the modern traditionals coming in at about 50 to 70 pounds, but with a clip on it, making them modern, making sure there's a kick on them that it doesn't close. That's really important because you're not going to get the new ones taking it. If they can close it in their finger, they'll close it in their finger. We've all done it. So if you take that, if you put the little, the, a proper kick on it, that it's not going to close in the finger, absolutely smashing absolutely smashing and the other thing is that i think there's nothing wrong with the uk market or german market jumping in on this and i think if they got in ahead even of maybe the americans because the chinese will jump in on this at some stage i truly believe they will and i'd much rather it was maybe european or american markets that got in on it here's me speaking like i own a company but <laughs> But you know what I mean? I just think this is this is the progression that the modern traditional is going to go down, where it's going to get colourful. It has to. Yeah, you know I mean, if you're comparing like for like, colour is the thing. Colour, texture, um, is what makes a traditional knife in your hand feel like something important, something that you want to bring out and use in front of people. And if you keep it below three inches, you have the whole world at your feet. Some of these knives are coming out at 3.1. And I go, do you not know there's the whole of Europe you've taken out of your, uh, your your selling thing? I mean, for the sake of point one, 
So I think manufacturers need to be careful that, that they, they don't exclude Europe because Europe has no homemakers, not well, very few. And what they are just are not putting out good enough material to get them noticed. They can sell them in the shops, the tourist shops, hand over fist, because people will buy a handmade knife in Sheffield, no matter what it looks like. It seems to be the way, because their, their fit and finish is not good enough for me to be a global concern. It's a homemade home industry, and they're just not doing it well enough. Now, there is exceptions, and, and there is um, custom makers that are way above that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the general industry of knife making. I just believe around the world, America, not just UK, if we don't change and we don't step ahead of the the Chinese and do these things at the prices that they'll do, because they'll start them off cheap, they'll get the people in, then they bump the price up and people will still buy them. And we're just falling behind because we're not getting in at that initial concept and getting an audience that wants. I believe that after this video, I believe there's a lot of people who will say, yes, I want colourful modern knives with a clip. I don't want to carry a, a, a slip in my pocket. I personally like that. But this is not aimed at me. I'm going, I'm stepping away. Although I have quite a collection of modern knives, modern traditional. I have quite a good collection of them. And I like what I've got. But I'm really coming to that sort of, right, I'm up here. You're going to have to do something. I need something more than just uh, carbon fibre stainless steel bolsters to, to make it a, a, a modern traditional. It has to be modern and it has to, I think we're, are we frightened of putting a clip on a modern traditional? I don't see why, because it's never been a thing. We've only just sort of invented the modern traditional. So there we go, I've rambled on quite a lot. It'll be interesting to see what you think of this. If you're somebody who's never got into traditionals and you would like it if the modern traditional was there to give you a way in, but a, a colorful way in, a way in that's, that creates that, um, that demand for more, that creates, you know, the, the, the color, the, the, the elderberry jig bone and this green giraffe bone, this dye, they just look and feel completely different. Same sort of size knife, but different bone and uses of it. That's what needs to happen with the likes of GKM and Micarta. Make your modern traditions of their materials, get, make them colorful. And uh, I honestly believe that is the way forward for modern traditionals with a clip. Now, my question to you is, are you in the slightest bit interested whether there's modern tradition or not? Are you just a, a set in the ways traditional person or a set in the ways titanium and grey slab sort of? Uh, is that your, um, the modern knife? Is, is it the, the, the function? Is it the blade? Is it the steel? Is it what, you know, whatever. Let me know what you think down below. If this is another option that you feel is out there. There's nothing much new at the minute. To me, well, there's plenty new. That's wrong. That's that's just wrong. There is plenty new, and there always will be in this, this hobby. Thankfully, that's what keeps us going. But I just feel as if there's something new for people like myself and others who, who I love my traditionals, and I want to keep collecting them. But if it's a modern tradition, I want it to be modern. I don't want it to be a grey copy of a traditional, because that's not going to last. I don't believe that will last. But if you give it a pocket clip, give it a colour, I believe it'll start something. It'll start people getting that thought process going. But keep the price down. Don't put the steels up. I don't want 390 on a pocket knife. 440C is absolutely brilliant. 8CR13 is absolutely brilliant. Because it's just a pocket knife. What do you think? Let me know. If it's, if, it, if it's something that interests you, I'm sure you will let me know. If it's not, thank you so much for watching. If you even stayed for five minutes, thank you so much. Um, the other thing that I'm going to say is I'm going to put the link to the other podcast about helping the channel out with my PayPal because um, now I've had, I think I've got, we're up to about five people have put in and I think one of them has put in three times so I thank them very much. This was just a way of me getting a knife and doing tests on it um, for the channel. Um, I'll put the podcast up if you if you didn't listen to it. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I didn't do anything, maybe there's just no interest, but I'll put it up and you can see where I want the channel to go and through the podcast and do some sort of things that would interest us as a, a little community. Anyway, 
All the very best. I'll put it down below. Have a have a watch if you can. If not, just thank you for being a sub. All the best. Paddy's gone. Cup of tea time. Bye.